and 6151A, a private aircraft from the United States, is responsible for artificial rain in the United Arab Emirates by cloud seeding. The aircraft took departure from Abu Dhabi International Airport at 4 p.m. on April 15, 2024, just one day before the deluge in Dubai. Satellite view records revealed that there were many clouds over the United Arab Emirates at the time of takeoff, and it appears that it was the aircraft's obligation to cause rain. What happened to this airplane after takeoff? Where did this aircraft go and what did it do? What was the reason behind this havoc? Before knowing the details, we would like to welcome you on Infomish. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. The UAE is extremely dry and receives very little rainfall. Due to its outstanding administrative system, Dubai is often known as Mini Europe. However, this time millions of automobiles, homes, stores and workplaces were submerged under water. The Dubai administration failed to drain the water for five days. Is this the effect of cloud seeding in Dubai or has their sewerage system failed? On April 14, 2024, a series of showers and a strong storm hit Oman. Water accumulated on the roads, causing death of 20 people. This series premiere in the UAE on April 16th. Initially, it was deemed average rainfall of up to 20 mm, but as the rain continued, it reached 142 mm, or over 5.2 inches, in just a few hours. Dubai received so much rain in just few hours, which it normally had throughout the year. Traffic management in Dubai gets challenging, as several feet of water accumulate on the city's main arteries. People become trapped in their homes and several footages show water entering residences. However, the rain did not stop, even at Dubai International Airport, where thousands of flights regularly land during the day, many planes became trapped and remained stranded, while incoming flights began to be diverted. The journey of the passengers present at the airport changed from hours to days. What seemed like ordinary rain gradually paralyzes the world's most advanced city. Schools and offices were closed for the indefinite duration. In 75 years, this was the highest rainfall in the UAE. But the real question that everyone is wondering is, what happened that the world's driest area came under such heavy rainfall? After the devastation caused by the rains, a rumor started spreading on social media that this rain is the result of cloud seeding in Dubai. The deputy director of the National Center for Meteorology of the United Arab Emirates says that although the aircraft took off that day, it did not engage in seeding activity. Cloud seeding was first seen in Dubai in 1990 due to water shortages here. The basic rule of meteorology is that whenever clouds are seen forming, particles is sprayed over them through the aircraft, which is mostly salt or silver iodide. When this salt comes in contact with moisture in the clouds, it converts into ice crystals first and then, due to its heaviness, it starts raining. If the United Arab Emirates does not engage in cloud seeding, then these clouds will rain somewhere else naturally. People say that cloud seeding played a catalytic role due to the upcoming storm, and that's why the matter slipped out of Dubai's hands. But according to experts, such heavy rain cannot be the result of cloud seeding. Weather experts say that rainfall does occur due to cloud seeding, but it doesn't create a flood-like situation. Experts say that rain is not generated by cloud seeding, but rather the rain that is already present in the air is simply brought down. Therefore, blaming cloud seeding for this flood is not correct. Frederick Otto, a renowned climatologist from the Imperial College of London, asserts that human-caused climate change is to blame for these showers. This indicates that the weather is changing globally as a result of human error, destroying our forests, industries and farming practices. The entire world is impacted by climate change, and if a solution is not discovered, the planet may suffer greatly from the extreme weather patterns of the upcoming years. Experts also believe that if such rains had occurred in a country where it rains frequently, the damage would not have been as severe as it was in the United Arab Emirates and Oman, because the UAE and Oman do not receive as much rain, so there is no proper drainage system and the city faces flood-like conditions. Intermittent flooding suggests that urban engineering has failed to meet the demands of climate change. The first thing to know is that Dubai was built on sand, which readily absorbs water. 
but then this sand was covered with concrete, which reduced its ability to absorb water. Real estate developers have altered Dubai's natural landscape and the soil now absorbs far less water. This is why every few years the sewage infrastructure here must be enlarged. The second issue is that Dubai's population is growing by the day and waste is growing alongside it. We don't see waste on Dubai's roadways, but it needs to go somewhere. Dubai's sewage system is not large enough to manage a sudden 142 millimeters of rain. As a result, as the water accumulated, so did the garbage, further clogging the sewer systems. This may sound unusual, but many locations in Dubai still lack sewage connections. Even the world's highest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, lacks a sewer hookup. All of the garbage from the Burj Khalifa goes into a septic tank, which is emptied every day by dumpers. Fortunately, during the rain on April 16th, Dubai had resources, technology and better management, so most areas were drained using tankers and machines, and the system was repaired. However, this was not the last rain. Such rains may occur again since the threat of climate change is constantly present. As a result, Dubai's ruler, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has approved an investment of 80 billion dirhams on new sewage systems. This is the same amount that could be used to create another 15 Burj Khalifas. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.